Hi, it's Yuris and welcome to Tattoo Shop Talk. And today we will talk about, you know what situation, it's 25th of March at the moment of recording of this. Situation sucks pretty bad. It sucks for tattooing, piercing and many, many more industries. And as you may notice, many countries are on lockdown, so none of the non-essential businesses may work. And at this moment, none of this stuff seems funny anymore. Let's talk about what's been done and what could be done and what we can do for each other to help out at least a little bit. In terms of what's been done already, as far as I know, nothing much. This situation is located in Denmark and Denmark's government talks about help for small businesses so there will be some support. Who will get it and how much that's been decided? At least something is happening. At the moment it's worded a bit weird so people get confused and the more you read into what people are talking, the more confused you get. It should be more or less known by next week we all hope on that and this is where it would be awesome if you could leave your comment let us know what's happening in your country how governments are treating it are you getting any support will you get any support or it's been just on your own responsibilities so that would be great to know and maybe that information could get to some people working into some helpful institutions and that can give an overall idea on what to do and what's the best approach what to do what not to do and how to deal with all this situation Denmark at the first announcement was on a lockdown till end of March and at the beginning of this week it was extended till 13th of April at least. The more you read on Facebook or other forums like many places are closed and they close at rapid rate. Some places close a bit sooner at their own initiative and some places work till last moment. There were shops in Denmark who were open till like since it was announced it was announced from next day 10 o'clock so some shops stayed open all now at night because for some it's either that or nothing. That's all day income and it might be that those shops might not open. It's not only tattoo shops it's hairdressers and all sorts of small businesses so it was was a pretty intense evening so let us know what your governments are doing what institutions are getting involved and how any of this could help small businesses so what's been done what's the support what's the institutions and governments who's doing what why and how does it look that it's gonna help and as for individuals I think at the moment it's like stressful times and many people don't know what to do and how they will deal with the situation ahead. I've seen many shops selling gift cards. Many sell gift cards with discounts for when they open. At least they have some money to live on and pay rent. Some people start to work on their hobbies. Some people are working on the improvement of their skill. Many people start to draw and also many people are selling their drawings, flashes, it can be digital products and in my opinion the best thing that you can do if you can financially afford it is to support your Either it be tattooists, that's we're talking about this industry, or any kind of businesses where they're like selling stuff online, buy gift cards, share their information, see what you can do for them, or maybe somebody that you know can do for them. And as for tattooing, there's many people who still sell merch, they sell merch online, so either it be cool t-shirts, or it might be some books, it can be some flash sets, stickers, and whatnot. And that would be one way how you could support your local tattooist, tattoo shop, or it can be even other businesses. And the best thing you can do, even if you can't buy it, just share that information, share the posts, web pages, online stores, basically anything what the social media networks are made for. Share all the useful stuff. And I wish I could be more helpful. So if you know some tattooists who sell some cool merch, prints, stickers, or whatever, email it to info at tattoo shop talk and I don't think you can spam all sorts of links on YouTube. Still, I can add those links to video description on my webpage. Email me information with the artist you want to support. Add the link and maybe add where the merch is coming from because it's different if you buy from states to states or from Europe to Europe. But when you buy from outside Europe to within Europe, then things can get a bit more complicated and also a bit more expensive. Email to info at tattoo shop talk if you are supporting some tattooists or if you are that tattoo is and I will add that link to description on tattooshoptalk.com so when people see that video on that page they will be also able to see that link and who knows maybe it helps maybe it works I hope it's not going to be too crazy and I and I also hope that it's going to work so it's not going to be nothing so email those things also share this video because that can help to spread this message and as always like subscribe comment all that stuff and see you in the future episodes